Drought conditions in certain counties of the state are resulting in higher expectations than normal of crop abandonment. These could range from 30 to 50 percent in terms of the overall crop, but in individual counties, that's going to vary a lot. Some of our most drought stricken counties in the state may see very high levels of crop abandonment for our wheat crop this year versus our eastern side of the state where we may see a very good crop for in terms of yield and in terms of acreage. In some of our most drought stricken counties, many producers have already made the decision of whether or not to abandon a crop, potentially haying that crop and following it for the summer or even planting a summer crop. However, there are some considerations for those that are still in that critical point of making the decision. First is that grain prices are very high. You don't need as much yield per acre to still make enough revenue to cover your expenses on the acreage. This is going to create more flexibilities for some producers who may still want to go ahead and harvest that crop in their area, even if yields are even in the single digits. Before making that decision, producers need to talk to their crop insurance agent. This is really critical because a notice of loss needs to be put in place and that crop needs to be inspected before it can be moved into an alternate use. This includes haying that crop as well. But it also, any sort of summer crop that needed to be planted, that alternate use would need to be approved before the producer actually made those decisions. So having open communication with a crop insurance agent and your banker is really important before making those choices. In other parts of the state, we're getting a lot of moisture, excess moisture, to the point that we have flooding fields. This is also going to affect the ability to harvest those crops. Again, getting that notice of loss into your crop insurance agent is really critical. Within 72 hours, have a conversation, do a phone call, go in person, but then also there'll need to be that written notice of loss that goes in as well. So as we come into harvest, take some time to consider your options. Talk to your insurance agent, talk to your banker, Talk to your local extension educator about what those options are and about the financial impacts to weigh the pros and cons of your different choices coming up. And just take good care of yourself. This is a very stressful time in Oklahoma in general, but the markets and the weather certainly are, aren't helping. And be sure to reach out for more resources on our extension webpage.